Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, please go down and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll see all the videos that we put out. So guys, today we're gonna talk about the struggles of um, meat processing for small livestock farms like we are. Um, we are actually going to pick up some meat today. It is a two hour drive to this particular processor. We use a few different processors. Uh, but you know, I mean, like I say, you, you have to use the right processors and, and we've gone through a couple and we found a few that we like. So, so we do make the drive, but, um, you know, not living local to those places, uh, it makes it kind of hard to, to drop off and pick up your meat. So we took pigs on Monday and today is Sunday and they have called us and told us that the, uh, meat was ready to pick up. So we've already done all our chores this morning, uh, done the, the uh, egg layers out there. We put hay out, uh, we've collected all our coolers and we are about to get ready to hit the road and head that way. So y'all hang out and we'll go over all this stuff with you. So we're on the road. We have a bunch of coolers in the bank. I have my lovely, beautiful partner in crime with me. And uh, we are headed to Bowden, Georgia uh, to Farmer's Pride. Uh, meat processors they do beef and pork and um, I don't think they do anything else than that do they? No, I, I don't think so either. Anyhow um, we're headed up that way and we have decided to take the scenic route just because we really don't like the city as much as it is anyway so we may have added a I don't know 15 or 20 minutes to our uh, our drive but that's fine. So we're gonna show you guys some uh, scenery along the way. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to video much of anything when we're there. We haven't asked them and I surely don't wanna pull up and spring it on them, but we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so we are uh, leaving uh, Farmer's Pride in Bowden, Georgia. And when I'm on a bumpy gravel driveway, sorry. Um, but we're all loaded up. We've got, how many coolers is that back there full? Uh, a, nine, ten. Nine, ten. Eleven. Anyway, we didn't bring enough coolers, and they were gracious enough to, to let us borrow a cooler, and we'll just bring it back to them next time around. But anyhow, um, so two hours here almost an hour here loading up going through going over everything make sure everything's right and now two hours back so this is one of the most painful parts for us to um be in this business because the processor is just not close and uh it, for us this is labor this is time and you know some of the, of course right now with everything in the world diesel's four dollars a gallon so and in some places more than that but anyhow that's where we're at right this minute when we get back to the house we're going to break some of this stuff up and uh i will show you some of the the packages that we'll be selling and we've got several um halves that are sold out of this group so we're gonna be putting all that stuff together so i'll kind of do some video and show you guys on that but um we'll get to that in just a little while so this is an added adventure coming down the hill about halfway back and there was a car that coming towards where I'm at went in the median about eight foot in the air and uh, has spun around and so 
Hello, Jamie. How has your uh, adventure been to go pick up pork today? Pretty exciting, you know. A little brief moment of that medical adrenaline rush. <laughs> <laughs> so, not only is fuel four dollars a gallon, which makes these trips really exciting, and then on the way back, this car gets like eight feet in the air, like right before we're topping the hill, and wrecks out in the rest of the medium. So, uh, you know, adventures in farming. <laughs> <laughs> go with it <laughs> all right guys so we are back um we've actually been back for a while but uh to give you an idea of how long of an uh i don't want to call it an ordeal but how long of an ordeal it is um we left here at about 11:30 this morning i think right now it's around 6 15 or 6 30 um so all in all almost right at two hours there we spend 30 to 45 minutes there going over everything that we're picking up making sure that everything's there seeing if the butcher made a mistake and, and if he didn't which in this case uh he did there was some mispackaging and some some things that weren't cut right um but then getting back and the wreck that you saw in the middle of the, it wasn't us but um so those things uh took us you know that much time you know we had five hours wrapped up in that this trip um when we get back here we unload all the coolers and we start going through meat we had a customer that was or actually we had two customers chomping at the bit to come pick up their halves so first thing we did was go through and separate all those halves and then we have two other customers that have uh half orders as well so then we separated those and we put them into uh, freezers, you know, packaged correctly and all that stuff. <clears throat> and then after that, it's a, it's a mad dash to get everything else in a freezer uh, from that point. So um, it's just a, it's a long process. Uh, you know, we like to group things in the freezers the way that they should be. And, you know, try to make sure that everything is, is accessible and we don't have to search and flip through everything. Well, these are some of the pains that we're dealing with. So we're still using residential freezers. Uh, we don't have a big freezer yet. We've actually had two nice stand-up freezers that just crapped out on us uh, recently. So um, we cut down a tree out here with intentions of putting in a big freezer and we just haven't done it yet. Um, but I, I feel like it's going to lay enough pressure on us over this summer to where we don't have much of a choice. But anyhow, um, enough with all that. Uh, I'm going to close this video out with uh, showing you guys um, our spoils here in all these freezers and um, kind of give you an idea what, so there's one pig, so this is probably four pigs left in all these freezers. So let me show you that real quick and, and just kind of give you an idea of what kind of inventory we have once we've gone out and done this. All right, so freezer number one. So first of all, everything you see there on the left all the way down to the bottom of that freezer is a half. Uh, it's all packaged by individual flavors of sausage, pork chops, ribs, so forth and so on. And this is all the lard from the four pigs that we picked up today. Um, so that is what that one is all about. Now the second freezer right here, it also has a half in it. So that's all the way down to the bottom. So we have two more customers that will come probably tomorrow and pick these up. Um, these in this side, this is a great big stack of one inch thick pork chops. And then right there across the top, those are blade steaks. This one is a crazy cooler because there's all sorts of stuff. So we had a restaurant that wanted to cure their own ham. So we have a whole ham, we've got bacons. Um, but this is also the freezer that deep down in there is where all of our ground sausage is. And then deep down on this side, so our link sausages. Um, we've got a whole fresh side in there that they for this some restaurant wanted to cure. <clears throat> so we kind of just had to start squeezing in things. So so a lot of this meat in this cooler is spoken for for a restaurant. And then we got a half, and then we got a half, and then we got lard and pork chops. Now we keep on coming down this way this one is going to be ribs and tons and tons of bacon there's more flavors of sausage under all of this 
Um, some Boston butts somewhere. This one. Yeah. So this is more bacon. Uh, there's a butt. There's a smaller butt. Anyhow, that's basically what it is. So this is a haul. Now this freezer that I'm digging in, this is our personal freezer uh, as well. So we keep some things in there for us. But for the most part, that is it. So this is uh, five chest freezers that are almost all full with the exception of the one on the end down there. So guys, that's it for this one. Um, I'm going to do what I always do when I go pick up pork. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to salt and pepper up some pastured pork chops and I'm going to slap them on the grill. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.